Ben and Jen, this is the last night that Tata's restaurant here in Wallingford will be open. And like so many other restaurants that have had to close their doors, one of the biggest challenges that they've faced post COVID is retaining employees. After 20 years of bringing Puerto Rican cuisine to Wallingford, Tata's restaurant is saying goodbye. We, we had a long run here and it was a good one. Like so many restaurants, they have faced post pandemic challenges that years later continued to have an impact. Rising costs, a blow to small family owned businesses. You know, all the increases, you know, the interest rates and all this other stuff, you know, the food costs and all that stuff. And a difficulty finding and keeping employees. That's been our, break, our biggest problem. So, um, you know, they'll come, they'll work a few weeks and then they don't want to work anymore. So, you know, we've been pretty much holding it down ourselves. The issue reflected in the latest jobs report from the state. There were 900 jobs lost in April, and the workforce declined by more than 4,000 people. COVID uh, really devastated the workforce and took us a bit to, to get people back to work, fully reopen the state, but our workforce still hasn't recovered. Our economy really hasn't fully recovered. Chris Pantima, president and CEO of the Connecticut Business and Industry Association, says the problem exists across many industries, but restaurants have been greatly impacted. Our restaurants, our main streets continue to really be uh, devastated post pandemic. Restaurants have the job openings. Again, it's finding the people to fill these jobs. The Way Station in Middletown, another restaurant to recently close its doors. The same post COVID struggles plaguing their brick and mortar location. Uh, worker retention has been a big problem for us. We've gone over uh, 30 employees in the last 18 months. They'll be focusing on their food truck business, which they say is a much more sustainable business model. The food truck is where I started, so I want to go back to that, and I know that that's where the heart and soul is. The message from these businesses, support local. Making bonds with the community is, is really important for small businesses because they're really what we have. As for what's next for the folks here, the family says they're going to take a break, but that you'll see them again soon. Coming up on the news at 11, I'll tell you what experts say is one thing that could help this employment issue here in Connecticut. Live in Wallingford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.